everyone in this session we are going to talk about what are wrapper classes and how we can use them in apex to get the data from multiple objects and show them in any lightning in any uh, ui framework of salesforce like visual force or lwc uh, so uh, in the end we are going also going to see a demo uh, where we'll uh, we'll create a wrapper or container class and return that list to show in our LWC lightning data table. So let's start. So uh, firstly, let's discuss what is a wrapper class. So a wrapper class is a class whose objects, wraps or can contain primitive data types as well as a user defined type. A wrapper class is a custom object defined by the programmer, which can contain different properties, variables, default apex collections or other user defined variables slash collections. The wrapper classes can also follow the OOPS principle of encapsulation. So uh, wrapper class or inner class, as the name suggests, can, is, a, is a class within a class. So uh, this, uh, this, gives us, uh, uh, this gives a programmer a flexibility to define any number of properties or variables, any default Apex collections uh, like map, list, set, and other user defines. Like a wrapper class can contain a, a list of other wrapper classes so it's basically allows a programmer or gives a flexibility to programmer to define any structure and which he can pass into his uh, front end ui and uh, the uh, the programmer can initialize those properties through a constructor so uh, let's let's see an example uh, of a wrapper class so uh, let's say you want to return an object with the list of cases and list of contacts uh, of our account uh, as we know, uh, an account can any num can have any number of uh, cases and contacts. So let's say for a specific account, you want to return a list of uh, contact or cases. So instead of returning, uh, uh, instead of returning separately, we can create a wrapper, and that wrapper would create uh, would have two list, uh, uh, two list declared. Let's say we have this wrapper class and we have a public list of contact and public list of case. And then we will just return uh, that wrapper object and we'll return a map. Basically map ID would be the account ID and the value would be the wrapper class, this wrapper class fully. And this wrapper class would contain the list of contact and list of cases. So, uh, so this is what a wrapper class gives us a flexibility. So now let's discuss the use cases of wrapper class. So firstly, we have discussed to wrap the data of, uh, from multiple objects into a single unit, then return that collection to LWC or a visual force to display the data. In LWC, we can use lightning data table to display the data. In visual force, I, we have apex page block table tag to display the data. Uh, so since you can see uh, in this wrapper, we have created a two list that is from two different objects. So this is uh, what it means to wrap the data into a, uh, of multiple objects into a single unit. Secondly, uh, since wrapper class is user defined, we can implement a custom sort functionality using the comparable interface. So if our class implements the comparable interface, Salesforce give us the ability to uh, implement a custom sort so uh, let's take this example uh, so let's say we have this wrapper class and we want to define some sort functionality for this we can implement the comparable interface and uh, we can override the compare to method after we do that we can uh, uh, like implement a custom sort functionality so uh, let's discuss more about that so we have a comparable interface in salesforce this interface interface adds sorting support for list that contain non-primitive type that is list of user defined types so our wrapper is an example of a user defined type the wrapper class which implements the comparable interface will need to define the compare to method uh, which would return an integer value uh, the implementation of this method returns the following values so uh, uh, once we define the compare to method so uh, this method would return an integer value so uh, if uh, both the instance, current instance and object to compare to are equal, uh, then we will have to return zero. If the current is instance is greater than the object to compare to, then we have to return a value greater than zero. If the instance is less than object to compare to, then we will have to return 
uh, instance that is less than zero. And if the object instance and uh, and the object to compare to are incap incompatible, uh, an error exception is thrown. Type exception is thrown. So uh, yeah, uh, we will go through an example and we'll see how it works. So uh, yeah, now let's see an example of a wrapper class in sales in our Salesforce org. I'll give you. I'll give you a use case and then we can define that. So uh, let's say we have this related list. So this is a custom related list which I have developed and the name is attachment and files. Uh, so uh, in Salesforce we have two objects. One is attachment and one is files. So uh, now we have a, uh, the use case was to create a related list which would show uh, data from both, both these objects, right? So it will also query the attachments. It will also query the files. Now this is a lightning data table. So uh, to show the data, to show the data from both both these objects, uh, we will have need a wrapper class. And within the wrapper class, we'll define our properties and we'll initialize those properties and we'll send that wrapper class list to the LWC to display the data. So let's walk through the code first. Uh, firstly, we'll uh, uh, let's see the Apex class. So this is the Apex class wrapper demo which I have created, and this is the wrapper class show attachment details, and this is implementing the comparable interface. So we are uh, we are using a custom sort functionality, and these are the constructors. We are uh, we are initializing the properties we have defined in the wrapper class. So uh, firstly, let's see uh, this. Uh, wrapper class would uh, uh, have a list of uh, this class this main class would have a list of uh, the wrapper class show attachment details that we will uh, pass into the uh, lwc so firstly let's see we are we are querying the attachment and we are also querying the content version content version is the api name for file the uh, files are stored in the content version object right uh yes then we have created this show attachment list that is a list of this uh wrapper class show attachment details so we uh once we have uh the list for attachment and the content version we are uh, iterating through it and we are populating this uh, show attachment list and uh, we are using the new key new keyword so uh, as you know new creates a new object and once uh an object is initialized it calls its constructor so we are we have uh, two constructors one is having a parameter of attachment one is having a parameter for content version so if it is an attachment object this constructor will be called if it is a content version then this constructor will be called then we are just populating the values uh, for uh, our uh, show attachment list right uh, then then we are sorting this list the show attachment list which we have got uh, based on the created date. So let's see the compare to button uh, compare to method. So uh, uh, in the compare to method we have a parameter compare to. So uh, firstly we'll uh, uh, typecast it to the show attachment details, and then uh, we will will see if uh, attachment to compare which we have uh, uh, typecasted this object we have typecasted if. Uh, that is equal equal to null or uh, the created date is equal equal to null then return minus one that is it is less than the current instance now this created date uh, defines the current instance so if the created date is less than the attachment uh, to compare the compare to object dot created date uh, then return greater than zero greater than zero defines the current instance is greater than uh, the attachment to compare to and if both are equal then return zero that is both are equal otherwise if any uh, if none of these cases match then return minus one right so um, uh, so this was our uh, uh, custom sort functionality which we have created then we are just uh, creating a map and in the map we are uh, putting this uh, show attachment list which will show in the lwc we are just num uh, counting the number of records and then we are adding it then uh, there is one flag show limit executed in for flag so uh, now let's go to our uh, javascript for our lwc uh, 
here we are importing the get attachments method uh, now we will call this method using a wire adapter in the wire adapter we are passing in the record id uh, so we are uh, naming the property as load attachment files then we are checking if the data is available then uh, uh, this is our data we are uh, this since we know this would be a map or a object uh, in javascript we are just uh, putting in this key and then we are populating this uh, variables uh, show attachment list variables uh, attachment count and show lim limit extended info <coughs> uh, right uh, so uh, apart from that uh, this is the custom code uh, for our uh, controller or our uh, JS uh, file then I'll go to the HTML in the HTML we have created a lightning data table in the light in the lightning data table we have uh, uh, we have defined the data as this attachment list which we got from the uh, apex and uh, then we have the columns so I'll once again go back to the JS file so uh, I'll sh I'll show you the columns which we have defined we have defined the title we have defined the created by and we have defined the last modified by so uh, the field uh, uh, in in a lightning data table the uh, uh, the columns that map to the data depends on the field name this is the property so field name is the title url if i go to the apex class you can see we have created this property as title url so this property would match to this uh, column of the lightning data table similarly we have this created by url so this property would define to this created by url and then we have the last modified date uh, this property uh, this column would uh, uh, match to this last modified date property right and uh, i guess that's all i'll just give you a working demo how our component is working i'll just upload one file upload file abc and you can see uh, the data uh, it is sorted by the last modified date and or it is sorted by the created date sorry and uh, we can see the data getting updated so uh, once once the upload is finished we are calling this refresh apex uh, we have imported it at the top which may again makes a call to the this method uh, get attachment list method and we, we get the updated data updated data it's like now we have uh, we have uh, two uh, files here so uh, we would query this and then we'll return this show attachment list and this list would be shown in the uh, our lwc component so uh, yes so uh, that's all for today's session so hope you like hope you like the video and uh, do like and subscribe the channel for more such videos uh, thanks everyone for watching the video